Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be talking about the seasonal challenges that Bungie is trying to introduce. I say trying, they're going to introduce it. And honestly, I I could care fucking less about this. So, uh, I haven't been playing Destiny 2 a lot this season. Mostly because it sucks. Like, it's... Okay, let's be fair. It doesn't suck. It's just the drip feed does suck. And currently, right now, as I'm writing this, there's nothing to do. I already got Hawkmoon. I already got the role that I wanted. Uh, technically, I didn't get the role I wanted. I got the one of the perks that I wanted. And then I was like, I don't care anymore. Fuck it. And I got off. As you guys know, I've been playing more Ghost Runner. Ghost, or Ghost Runner. Uh, Cyberpunk. I'm thinking about doing other games right now. And this seasonal challenge thing does not interest me in the slightest like it's cool don't get me wrong it's cool for people who don't do their weeklies i haven't done my weeklies in like two to three weeks so like realistically if i'm coming if i would ever come back to the game i would be like oh shit, i can do these challenges that's how i think they would like it that like i think bungie would like for people to think like that like oh shit, i have these challenges but realistically, people are just probably going to be like, oh, I got to do all this shit. That's probably how it's going to go down. Because I'm definitely not going to be playing every week, especially if next season is just dry. Like, do you know how wild it is that we had an expansion plus a season come out this, this whole season? And we have people losing their minds, getting bored, stop playing, stop playing stop just stop playing the game overall like i have there's just so many problems with destiny 2 and we had a season a, we had a fucking expansion drop and it's this fucking crazy dude i just wow dude just wow i mean they were right beyond light did change the game in a in a way we wouldn't expect but damn dude i did not expect the game to be this crazy to the point where people are like saying it's dying and I don't mean like just like hyperbolic. I mean like kind of like dying, dying. And I get why they they say that. I don't think I don't think Destiny 2 will ever die until like the moment that Bungie just stops caring and immediately is like, oh yeah, we're discontinuing Destiny 2, which is what I think they're doing. If if you want to really like un like understand my thought process on what De what Bungie's trying to do with Destiny 2. I think Destiny 2 is literally going to run its course until Matter comes out, and then Matter is going to be their new, uh, the new IP that they're going to be running with. And Destiny 2 is either going to die, or it's going to have a skeleton crew. Not that it already does not have one. I'm just saying it's going to get more of a skeleton crew than it already has. So enjoy whatever many years we have left until Matter comes out. Because I'm once Matter comes out, dude, Destiny di Destiny dies. And if I'm wrong, sure, whatever. But that's just how it is at least that's how i think it's gonna be but back to the challenges i don't care uh we we're not getting more bright dust at least it doesn't look like we're getting more bright dust it just seems like we get more options like let's say exact like exactly what it means uh the bright dust that you could have gotten like example for me i haven't done bright dust in two weeks or weeklies in two weeks so those two weeks that I didn't get them, I could literally go back and go do them. That's cool. Like, I guess makes it makes me feel like I don't have to play every week, every day to get all of the brightest I can. But I'm already doing that now. I don't care at this point. I'm literally just going to be getting whatever I want. And I mean, like armor for sure. And if it comes down to like, oh, I'm. I'm, I really need bright dust and I need to save. I'm probably just going to buy the hunter armor and maybe the titan armor. The warlock armor, I could give less shits about. I don't care. So, honestly, the challenges seem like a great idea. They are a great idea, but they're probably going to... People are probably going to respond the way I said they would, they would, which is, fuck, I got to go I'll do all this shit. Kind of like a chore, so... For me, it's probably going to be cool because like, I'll have more stuff to do when I do take days off or weeks off. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll links are in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about Destiny 2. It's uh, There's a lot of negativity going on so far, and I love it. So I will see you guys later. 
Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be talking about the seasonal challenges that Bungie is trying to introduce. I say trying, they're going to introduce it. And honestly, I I could care fucking less about